What's going on everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube page. So happy to have you guys back. Um, it's been a while since I created a video. I would say like a week or two. The last thing I created was a uh, fast the fasting challenge I did with Wim Hof, right? I was doing that for every Monday for a straight month and that was awesome. And I actually have not fasted since. I've just been eating, you know, regular food. You know, it's always food in moderation, like I said before in my other videos. Um, but yeah, no, that's been great. And I wanted to jump on here today though, because I actually had a great idea. And it actually wasn't just my idea. Someone commented commented on my post a little while back in one of my videos and said I should create a video on my morning routine. And I'm actually really, really excited today to bring that to you guys. Um, just kind of what I've been doing for my morning routine to help start my day with excellence, right? Uh, my morning routine switches up all the time. You know, it, it might be I'm doing something different to help myself. I might be meditating one day. I might be starting and, you know, reading a book the other day. But I want to give you my most consistent routine that I, I have always stuck with. Stuck with. Um, I have always done for so long and, you know, I currently still do it. So I'll kind of go about what I do. So the first thing I do is I wake up kind of early. Um, I've been waking up fairly early for the past, I want to say, ever since I started that Wim Hof cold shower. Not the fasting, but the cold shower routine. Um, that was that was a while ago. If, if I look back there, it'll 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 stretch back far, probably like a couple of months. Um, you know, that ever since I started that and doing cold showers in the morning, I've been waking up a lot earlier, and I've actually enjoyed waking up a lot earlier because I get to have a lot more of my day. Right? I have a lot more time in my day now when I wake up early, and I feel like everything, you know. It's just really quiet and subtle in the morning, if that makes sense. So I'll start up, I'll wake up early, and the first thing I do is I turn to the side of my, um, you know, my desk I have to the side here, and I drink a full glass of water. Now why do I do this? I do this because after eight, six, eight hours of sleep, however sleep, however much sleep I'm getting that night, um, we're going without a long time of water, and our body is dehydrated, so we need to replenish our body and also, you know, get out any... Um, excess you know waste that you have into your body and get it out of your system actually helps you by drinking water in the morning so I do that and it also wakes me up right when I drink a full glass of water it might be a little warm it's still cold um, I'll drink that full glass of water to start my day and then I'll also perk my body up so I do that I get out of my bed and the first thing I do right after I drink that cup of water is I make my bed like okay Jake you made your bed that's cool great you made your bed I do that too well here's the thing if you're making your bed, that is a great start to your day. Um, I don't know if anyone knows who Jordan Peterson is, but he has the 12 rules, kind of values rules of life. And one of them, you know, is simply make make your bed. What does this do? When you make your bed in the morning, you actually create action for your day. So you create the first step of action. When you make your bed, you want to do something else, right? I just made my bed, and now I want to do the next step, which is maybe I'll, I'll do a task, I'll do something else. So that's huge, just simply making your bed, putting that into your mind of creation. Um, the next thing I will do, and keep in mind, when I wake up in the morning, my first hour or two of the day, I'm not grabbing my phone. My phone is away, it's shut off, it's turned off, it's pushed away. Um, I don't grab that until my morning routine is all done, and I might even just keep it there, right? Because the thing is, when you grab your phone in the morning, you bring all of the problems, everything to your mind. That goes right to your subconscious about any, anything, any text that your boss might have said, your girlfriend, your boyfriend might have said, you know, that, you know, that just comes to your head or so, mainly social media. You know, you open up Instagram, you just see feeds of everything going on in the world. And it, to start your day with that is not a great start. You know, start your day, first hour, away from technology, just you and yourself, right? By yourself. So that's what I do. I'll keep it away from me. And I'll, I could go for a long time without it too until I actually grab it and then I start going. So I'll keep that away, and when I get up, I actually have a little prayer book, so I'll do a couple of prayers. Um, I'll pray for my family, I'll pray for all friends and family outside of my family, right, out in the world. I'll just pray for the world, I'll pray for myself, what's going on, um, you know, close relatives, anything that I, I want to pray for at that moment. And then what I like to do is after that, I'll go right up to the mirror. Now this is big. I'll do I am sayings. Now what are I am sayings? Basically what I am sayings are, so I'll look into, so there's a bug going on here. I'll look into the mirror and I'll say, I am happy. I am amazing. I am great. 
I am beautiful, I, I am loved, I am successful, I am, I am an inspiration to others. A list of I am's creates this, this chemistry change within your cells that when you really, and you have to set an intent when you say them, don't just, if you're gonna wake up, right, and look in the mirror and say, I am this, I am this, it's not going to have as much as an impact because when you say those words with intention, with intent, that you actually mean something, that's when you kind of start to go about your day and realize, hmm, I am happy, I, I do love my life, I, I am great, you know, I am powerful beyond measure. So doing that over and over, um, I've been doing that for a while now and I love that. Um, great, great, you know, self-confidence booster as well. Uh, after this, you know, I'll go out, I'll go downstairs and I'll actually, if it's a nice day, which it has been for so long now, um, it might be raining sometimes, but usually in the morning it has not been. I'll go outside, right? What I like to do, and just as I go outside, the sun's starting to rise. So I'll go out and allow that sunlight to hit my eyes, hit my body, my right, my pineal gland. I let that sun immediately hit my body, and that is the best feeling in the morning too. You want that sunlight, right? You want that, that vitamin D to hit your body first thing. So I'll come out, and I'm actually in the area that I do come out too. I'll actually, if you can see it, I sit right here. I have a chair, and I face the sun, which rises on this side. So the sun will rise, and I'll let that sun hit my body, and I'll sit there for a little bit. After I'm sitting there for a tiny bit, you know, just letting that sun in my body, I'll come out to this grass area, see? Actually, it's more right there, near the fire pit. So I'll come out to that little grass area, and I'll go barefooted. Now, this is curious. Oh, that bug's back. This is curious, Jake, why are you going barefooted in the grass in the morning? Um, that's kind of crazy. Uh, bugs flying on me. Um, why do I do this? Well, it's grounding. When you are barefooted into the grass, you become one with the world. And what I do, I don't just stand there. I do something called a V's favorite walk. I actually got this from Drew Cannoli. He's another um, popular YouTuber. He's all about, you know, spiritual self development, making yourself better. Um, so what I'll do, I'll take off my, my socks, my shoes or whatever I'm wearing. I'll go out into that little patch of grass and I'll walk around, right? I'll just walk around. I'll really just feel the earth and I'll look at, I'll point at things. I'll point at a tree. I'll say, this is my favorite tree. These are my favorite clouds. This is my favorite sky. This is my favorite whatever's, whatever's there. My favorite grass, my favorite flowers. This is my favorite world. That creates gratitude within myself, right? Being grateful for the life that I am given. So that's something that's been very powerful for me. After that, I'll come back on that spot on the deck right here, right, I'll have a chair right there, and I'll meditate for about 15 minutes. I've been doing a transformation meditation. Uh, it's a 30-day process. I might document that. Uh, I've been off and on with it, so I might restart it and then document my experience with that. But it's a transformation process with the, the mind, of your, with your consciousness, right? Shifting your consciousness. So that has been amazing. Um, I just, or any meditation. Something that's also awesome is doing a meditation where you're just observing. You're meditating the morning. Something that I really wanna share and I found so interesting, when you sit in the morning or any time of the day, you just observe, you observe your surroundings, you notice things that you haven't noticed before when you're on your phone, when we're so focused and, and digital deluge into our phone, we, we ignore our actual amazing surroundings of, of our earth. And one of the things I notice is, I'll kinda of show it, we have a street, right, the street out there to my development, there's a curb, right? And for the past three days in a row, I noticed the same squirrel. I imagine the same squirrel. Do the same thing along the curb. Run along the curb, stop. Do the same movement, and then go a simple way, and then be gone. And it has done that same movement for the past three days. So what I'm trying to say is that when you actually observe the present moment and appreciate what's going on around you, it, you'll be shocked about what you find and what you see and what you notice. Um, it makes you appreciate a lot more of the present moment and be grateful for being in the now. Um, that is the gist of my whole process. One thing I did miss and I do a lot is um, on my Instagram I posted about it is when you when you sleep for a long period of time your body becomes crunched, right? You're in a position where y your body, your joints are all distorted, your your legs are twisted so you get up and you might be like, ah, oh, my, my back's all tight, my neck's all sore. So I have a pull up bar within my house and I like to just hang from that, right? Allow my body, my, my spine to elongate, right? Because if you allow your body to just elongate after that long night of just crunched up, you allow your body to just stretch up and open out, that's such a great way. You can also do yoga in the morning. There are so many, this is what I'm trying to say, is there are so many things to do in a morning routine instead of 
grabbing your phone right away. And I think that's the biggest takeaway. Grabbing your phone right away, you're gonna start your day with so much, so much uh, confusion, so much, you know, pressure, anger, whatever it is that 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 technology and social media might bring to you. Leave that on for a little bit later into the day. I know you guys can do it. Literally an hour, two hours of your first day. Do something meditation. Do something appreciation, gratefulness. You know, into the mirror, I am. You know, set intent to that. Um, wake up, make your bed, drink a glass of water, have some tea outside. Do something enjoyable right in the morning where you're just you and yourself and you can enjoy that time or with a family member. It doesn't matter. Um, but that's the real message I kind of want to spread. You know, that's my morning routine. I get up, I drink a glass of water, I'll make my bed, um, I'll do some IMs, I'll do prayers, and then I'll stretch out my body. I'll come out here. I might even come out here with a glass of coffee or, you know, um, um, some t usually tea. I don't drink a lot of coffee, but usually some tea. I'll just sit for a little bit. I'll do my favorite walks into the grass barefooted. I'll come back here and then I'll just meditate. I'll just sit there, I'll either meditate, close my eyes, or I'll just observe. And it's amazing, guys. And that's really what I wanted to share today. So if you have any questions on morning routines, um, anything you want to know, anything you need help with, please drop it in the comments below or just message me on Instagram. I don't think you can direct message on YouTube, but if you want to, just direct message me on Instagram. Um, and if you guys enjoy this, please hit the like button. It'll help me a lot. And make sure to subscribe. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate it. Stay safe out there. Stay healthy. Stay happy. Peace.